Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Beauty Ethical. If you are new here, my name is Archana and I help you ease into the cruelty free beauty world one step at a time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep all your notifications on because I am planning a lot of content for you guys be it makeup tutorials or product reviews or information on cruelty free brands. So make sure you keep all your notifications on ring that bell and without any further ado let's get right into this video and this video is part two of makeup for glasses part one was out a few weeks ago if you've missed it i will link it down below in the description box make sure you check that out and also i will link all the products which i'm using today in this tutorial in the description box below so make sure you check it out if you're curious about any product that I'm using today so if you are a long-sighted person and you feel that your glasses make your eyes look bigger the part one of the makeup for glasses was how to make your eyes look smaller or normal size if you wear glasses which make them look bigger if you're long-sighted and in this video we're going to address the situation where glasses make your eyes look smaller and you want them back to your normal size or you want them to look bigger because if you're a nearsighted person and if you have a very strong number then the glasses tend to make your eyes look smaller the stronger the number the smaller your eyes will look and even though there is no specific look for glasses wearers in this video I'm going to share a few tips which will make it easier for you to decide how to do your makeup on a daily basis or for occasions as well so without any further ado let's get right into this video which is makeup for glasses part 2 so I'm starting off by using this wow skin revive nectar moisturizer I'm going to moisturize my face thoroughly and I'm also going to go down my neck a little bit and then I'm going to use this primer from Jordana it's a pore refining primer and I'm going to concentrate it mainly where I have large pores and then spread it out evenly on the rest of the face and then for foundation today I'm using this drop the base foundation from sugar cosmetics and I'm going to apply one layer of this foundation and with a buffing brush I am going to spread this foundation all over my face and neck and I am also going to ensure that I cover my ears and as mentioned in part one of makeup for glasses wearers do not apply a lot of foundation where your glasses are going to sit just a very thin layer of whatever is left on the brush after you've applied the foundation all over your face and neck if you apply a lot of product where your glasses sit it will leave the marks of your glasses on those areas and it is not going to look cute at all and then using a damp makeup sponge I'm going to ensure that my foundation looks very very natural there are no brush lines and it blends into my skin really well and does not look like I am caking up my face with foundation and then I'm going to use this corrector and concealer palette from Nykaa. I'm going to use the orange corrector, the yellow highlighter and a concealer shade from this palette. I'm going to apply the orange corrector wherever there is darkness on my face that's under the eyes, around my mouth, on my forehead and on the visible big marks on my face and neck as well. And then the yellow highlight I'm going to apply only under the eyes to make them look really bright and awake. I'm going to mention all the products that I'm using in this video down in the description box and will also give some of the links. So make sure you check out the description box if you want to know more details about the products that I'm using today. And then using this shade of concealer from the same palette, I am going to conceal under the eyes, around my mouth, on the forehead and the marks which I have corrected using the orange corrector. I am just using my fingers today to apply and blend the concealer corrector and the yellow highlight. Uh, you can use a brush as well for this purpose or even the beauty blender. Just apply it and then blend it all in with a beauty blender but make sure that you are using a tapping motion and not a rubbing motion because whatever products you have applied underneath the corrector the foundation the yellow highlight whatever it is it is going to move from its place if you use a rubbing motion so whatever tool you're using if you're using your fingers as well use a tapping motion to blend everything in and then i'm using the damp sponge again and i'm ensuring that everything is well blended under the eyes especially because that is something that you need to really take care of when you are wearing glasses 
everything gets accentuated through the glasses so make sure especially under the eyes that you've blended everything well and also i am taking a little bit of concealer on the damp sponge and i'm just working it in on the areas where i have not applied the concealer yet for powder today i'm using this banana powder from sugar cosmetics and i am first going to take out any creases that might have formed under my eyes on my eyelids or around my mouth and then using the powder puff that comes with the powder i'm going to apply powder very very lightly on my entire face just to set the foundation well in place i'm just pressing the powder into my skin on top of the foundation i don't want any of the products that i have applied till now to move so i'm not going to rub the powder on my face i'm just pressing it with the powder puff so i'm going to link the part 1 of makeup for glasses wearers down in the description box because there might be a few tips for face which i have missed in this video because i have done another video on this a similar video was done only difference is going to be of the eyes rest of the tips are going to remain the same so i will link that video down in the description box make sure you check it out For brows I'm using this brow pencil from Sugar Cosmetics all the product details will be mentioned down in the description box if you want to know about it more in detail please check out the description box brows are something that frame the face whether you wear glasses or you don't so fill in your brows really well no gap should show through the brows and also comb your brow hair in place and set them with a brow gel For eyes today I'm going to be using this Naked palette from Urban Decay and the first shade I'm using is called Naked and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid it's lighter than my skin tone I normally use Buck which is really close to my skin tone but today since we are doing the video for glasses wearers to make the eyes look bigger I'm going to be using lighter shades the next shade I'm using is called Virgin from the same palette This is not a shade that I would normally go for and it's not really for my kind of skin tone but I really want to show you what kind of a difference lighter shades can make for the eyes I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids and then I'm going to be using this shade called Buck from the same palette and I'm going to deepen the crease and outer corner a little bit to give some definition to the eyes So the main idea of trying to make your eyes look bigger is to keep your area around the eyes lighter. So the lighter shades that you use around your eyes the bigger your eyes will look. The darker the shades that you use around your eyes the smaller your eyes will look. So in this video we are only going to use lighter shades around the eyes. No darkness is going to be around the eyes in this video. I'm also applying the same shade very very lightly to the lower lash line to give slight definition no dark colors there as well. And then I'm going to use this light shimmery shade from Sugar Blend the Rules eyeshadow quad. This is in the shade number 4 Chandelier and I'm going to apply this on the inner corners of my eyes and I'm going to apply a very thin layer of this very close to my upper lash line. to make my eyes look more open as i said we are not going to apply any darkness around the eyes these light shades that we are using close to the lash lines are really going to open up the eyes i'm just going to use a pencil brush and i'm just going to diffuse the shimmer a little bit i don't want any harsh lines appearing around the lash line so i'm just going to use a soft brush and i'm just going to blend away the harsh lines and then using the same shade i'm just going to pop the center of the eyelid with the shade a little bit of shimmer even during the daytime when you want your eyes to look open can really complement your eyes and then i'm using this nude eye pencil from pack cosmetics it has a nude shade kajal on one side and a smudger on the other side and we are going to use both of them today so i'm just going to apply this in my waterline and you can see the difference between one eye and the other how open is the eye looking in which i have applied the nude kajal and then using the other side of this pencil i'm just going to smudge the nude kajal i don't want any harsh nude lines appearing in my waterlines so i'm just going to smudge it out and blend it really well a nude kajal in waterline 
really works wonders if you want your eyes to look very open even if you don't apply any light eyeshadows on top of your eyelids this step is a game changer for mascara today i'm using this what the hype mascara from nyx it is a volume mascara and i would suggest using a volume mascara for this kind of a look because you do need some volume for your lashes even though you want to make your eyes look bigger you need to use a mascara and you need to give volume to your lashes and it will really look beautiful since there is no other darkness around your eyes defining your lashes really well is very very important you can also curl your lashes in order to take them away from your glasses a little bit my lashes are already curly so i normally don't curl them anymore if you need curling please go ahead and curl your lashes and then apply mascara and yes you also need to highlight your brow bone i'm using the same shade from sugar palette and i'm just highlighting my brow bone and then i'm using this face palette from sugar cosmetics and i'm just going to blush up my cheeks a little bit using the blush from the palette make sure that you add some color to your face whether you're wearing glasses or you're not because otherwise your face will look very very flat and then using the highlighter from the same palette i'm just going to highlight my cheekbones and then for lipstick i am applying this nika pout perfect lipstick this is in the shade crushing on pink and i'm just going to apply it all over my lips and that completes today's video i might have missed a few tips that i had given in part 1 so i'm going to link the part 1 down in the description box makeup for glasses wearers part 1 so make sure you check that out So those were my tips and tricks for makeup for glasses wearers who are nearsighted and have a very strong number where your eyes start looking smaller when you wear glasses. So I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to make your eyes look slightly open and slightly bigger through your glasses. Do hit that like button if you found this video helpful and also please don't forget to share it with your friends and family and hit that subscribe button keep all your notifications on and all that good stuff to keep me motivated to bring more and more content for you guys so that's it for today's video i hope you have a great day stay at home stay safe don't venture out if you don't need to we are facing a tough situation with corona virus and i hope the situation ends very very soon and we are all back to our daily normal routine without any fear of any virus or anything at all thank you so much for watching have a wonderful week ahead and i will see you again very very soon in my next video till then take care bye bye